Welcome to Home Building 101 with Scoble Homes. My name is Lori Scholson, and today we're going to be talking about underground plumbing. I myself am not a plumber, but our plumbers were a little camera shy, so I'm going to give you a tour and kind of show you what they did over these past couple days. So underneath the, the main roads that you drive your cars on, there's underground um, fresh water, sewer water, electric, and all of those pipes under the ground are then piped individually into the community to the individual houses. So since you saw the house last, it was just a pile of the sand. Now you can really get to see the outline of the house. The first thing that the plumbers do is they look at a set of construction plans and then what they do is they need to dimension where all the plumbing fixtures are inside the house. So what they'll do is they'll measure from the perimeter of the house to where the bathrooms are, the sinks in the kitchen, the showers, um, anything that is water related, uh, plumbing related, they'll go ahead and dimension and they'll get all the pipes to those areas. What this here is um, a little gauge that gauges the water pressure. So the plumbers make sure that um, the water is pressurized and uh, make sure there's no leaks in the pipes uh, and that everything is running properly before they go ahead and pour the concrete foundation. So this is a temporary gauge just to test the water pressure. This here is a future shower. They put this box here so that way once um, when they're doing the shower there's a little wiggle room for where the drain can be. So this box allows it so when the concrete is poured there's an area here that allows for um, where you can still move the pipe around uh, during the construction to allow some wiggle room for the drain. And here you can see the uh, fresh water pipes, the skinny fresh water pipes, and then how they're above the bigger sewer pipes. So that way if there's a leak, the dirty water won't contaminate the clean water. Every house you need water. You need fresh water. You also need pipes to bring the fresh water away, um, the dirty water, the sewer water back out to the street. So, um, so what they do is they take the main water pipes and they branch off little individual small pipes to all the bathrooms, the kitchen, the laundry room, everywhere that needs that plumbing. And the reason why they need to do that now is because the next step is the concrete foundation is going to get poured. And so they need to make sure that the pipes are in place before the concrete is poured, so that way once the walls are built, they can go ahead and uh, connect all of those. And uh, the plumbers actually come out to the house three different times. They come out first in the very beginning to put the pipes under the ground. Um, and then after the walls are framed up, they take the, the pipes and they pipe them through the walls. So that way they can be connected to your sinks and your faucets. And then they come at the very end to uh, go ahead and put the finishing trim fi plumbing fixtures installed in the house that you actually use, such as the faucets and the sinks. How does the water get to the house? Well, in every town, there's a big water tower. So the big water tower, what that does is it actually pressurizes the water for the whole entire town, whether it be the city or, or um, the county. And so you've got a big water tower and the higher the water tower is, the more pressure it has, and all that pressure comes through the pipes in your house, and so when you turn on those faucets, the water, fresh water comes out. And the way the water then moves away from your house is it's actually sloped. So the plumbers come and they dig these trenches in the slab, so that way the pipes are all sloped away down towards the house, towards the main street, so that way as the water goes down the drain, it flows through the pipes with gravity and slopes out um, to the main sewer pipes underground. One other thing I wanted to point out is that water is actually not free. Um, so the builder actually needs to contact the water utility. In Gainesville, what we use is GRU, Gainesville Regional Utilities, and they need to pay what's called a tap fee in order to tap into the water source to bring the water to the house. So the builder, in the very beginning of the home construction, goes ahead and pays the tap fee to the utility. And then, once the homeowner moves in 
and they start using the water in the house, there's actually a meter that tracks all the water that gets used in the house, and every month the homeowner will get a bill 